Mayfield throws to the end zone. It is intercepted. The catch at the 20. He goes in. Intercepted by John Johnson. What a play. He's laid it out there perfectly. It's tipped and intercepted. It's a snap. Going to keep it himself. Goes right side and he dives and he is in. What's going on? This is John Johnson the third Safety for your LA Rams. I'm Akita Wormsley. I play for the Watts Rams. And we're going to talk a little football today. Let's get to it. Let's break down this tape. I'm under center. Drive back, fake the run, just let him go. Caught the defense lacking a little bit. Hey, that's a dime right there. He ain't had to break stride. Look, mm. put it where the defender couldn't get it. I like it. So this play is against San Fran, we're on the road, and I'm locked up on George Kittle, all pro, pro bowl tight end. And I'm just doing my job. You know, I got my eyes on my work. That's what you need to do in man. He ran like a deep over route. I had him under the control so I can get my eyes back to the quarterback. And I really just tried to knock the pass down but I accidentally ended up tipping it to him. So that I just had to try to scratch and claw for it. You'll see right now, look, I really wanted the end zone, but hey, I take interceptions all day. When you see him running that route and you're behind him and you're trying to get in front of him to stop that pass, what are you, what are you doing? You don't want to overrun it. If they're running over routes, the first hash mark, you kind of want to be on top of the guy. By the time he hits to the second hash mark, you want to undercut it. And it makes a hard throw for the quarterback. He either had to throw you the pick or throw the ball high and over top, and that way it'll, it'll make it a difficult throw, a difficult catch. We call it converting on the second hash. I ended up having to just snatch it from him. He wanted it, but I had to have it. This is a, um, like a hitch route. I think there was three people in the back, three receivers. They was running trips on the other side. So I seen the hitch route and I came up and I make the tackle. We call it long stride, short stride. When you're coming from Distance, you want to have that long stride to close the space within the tackle. Yeah. And once you get about, you know, wherever you're comfortable, whether it's two, three, some guys even one yard away, you want to top your feet and break down a little bit and get that pad level down. Notice I said pad level, not helmet level. You want to strike with your shoulders and keep your head out of the play. Drive for five, both sides of the ball gets up. It's, it's all safety for both guys, you know, the runner and the defender. It's just something you got to practice. Yeah. How do you make yourself a better defensive leader? Yeah, that's a good question. You're just building that trust within your teammates. And I think most importantly, you got to hold yourself accountable before you hold other people accountable. But holding other guys accountable is really the big thing. Like, you would think a guy like Aaron Donald is the big bad wolf on the team. I make sure that I hold him accountable so other guys on the team know like, hey, this is the standard. We all got to meet him. We all got to meet these expectations. And I don't ask of guys things that I can't do or that I wouldn't do. Just about having integrity and doing the right thing when nobody's watching. That's, that's really the biggest thing about being a leader. Yeah. Oh, this is my rookie year. I remember this play because this is my first interception. We got guys running on the field oh, yeah. late. Yeah. I'm in man to man here and I have number 82. So I get lined up late. I'm messing with my mouthpiece. Look, I just tried to get to him as fast as I could. I wasn't even thinking about the ball, but I got to him as fast as I could. And I felt like the ball was coming and I had enough time and distance to take a peek at what was going on. Russell threw it up there, left it inside, and I snatched it out the air. Yeah, that's a good play right there. Appreciate you. Second and goal, we're gonna do a quick QB uh, draw. And we're just gonna go right up the middle. And the line kind of breaks down, so I'm gonna go to the outside. And it's like an easy hole right there and get in. Mm. You had to run through a few people to get in there. Yeah. That's just will, huh? You just, you just knew you were going to score. You just wasn't going to be stopped. Yeah, I, I wanted to score. I see that. Put the ball in Akita's hands, man. Good things going to happen. Yeah. I appreciate you for doing this with me. I learned a lot about your game, your style. I hope you learned something from me. So I just want to give you an autographed football. You know what I'm saying? This is Thank yours. You. I'm going to get it to you somehow. We'll figure it out. One day, it's going to be worth a lot of money. You know, I'm still working on it. <laughs> I'm still working on it, but one day it's worth a lot of money. So that's my gift to you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Big shout out to Akita. Big shout out to the Watts Rams. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, I learned a lot about Akita. You know, he's my fellow Ram, the Watts Rams. Hopefully I can get down there and uh, see you guys play. And um, thanks for watching.